Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, and welcome to The Haunt by, well, Roblox. Um, this event has been a rather large one to talk about, and a lot of people have been not so happy with it for various amount of reasons. Now, obviously, there have been thousands upon thousands of people that have played this so far. And the last Roblox again, uh, event we got was The Hunt, which was okay, but let's just say it was, it was okay. Um, this one has about a 70% like rating. Would I disagree with that? Not entirely, and here's why. So, Roblox for the longest time has uh, had a reputation of its events not being so good ever since, I would say, Classic. And the fact that it's starting to bring stuff back is good. However, to me, everything when it comes to events is all about execution. So, obviously, you know, I played this to kind of get my own feel for it. And before we even start, I want to say it's not as bad as people make it out to be. It's just not where it should be. And that's just it. Um, if you ever see the way I review games or the way I review uh, more or less anything, it's all about what is it trying to present itself as and what's the main purpose right now within this it's supposed to be bringing the community together and trying to help again expand it now when you look in it the first thing i checked out more or less was how the game was set up um the different avatar stuff and uh, the map itself right so i did that and it was pretty cool i mean like i'm not gonna lie i thought it was really cool walking in seeing that there's all this different dialogue that there's different areas of the map um that there was a headless horseman that's pretty awesome um but the the thing that was kind of rough and it's it's pretty big is it's all kind of centered around a costume contest right and there's supposed to be different things that you kind of rate based off of the pictures that you take in game right and it's supposed to kind of like also advertise them the new screenshot i shouldn't say new but try to get people to use the screenshot measure a bit more as well well when you do this the intended measure was to obviously take a picture let's say what you're wearing right your avatar and then you upload it and then this is supposed to get people more to vote on uh, what you has, uh, have uh, have as cosmetics. Now, do I think this is more to just obviously sell more uh, UGC items? Yes. Do I think it's inherently a bad thing? It's 50-50. Uh, I, I think it's a little greedy to make it the main measure because um, based off the picture, you can see what the person's wearing. But, you know, I don't think it's like the worst thing. You know, it's just, it kind of just makes me go like, eh. The problem here, though, is when you look at these screenshots... Almost none of them are what you think they are. They're, they're, they're like, they're just straight up things from the game. Like, one of them just straight up had mainly only Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. Like, these are just things you find off of Google Images. I don't know how people are kidding them. I don't know where they're, where they're uploading them. But, like, these aren't even truly Roblox. So, so I'm looking at this and I'm like, dude, this is scuffed. And that's what probably a lot of other people are looking at, too. They're, they're looking at this and it's like, like, what the, what the hell, you know? Now... That's not even the worst part. The worst part is some of them are just straight up diabolical for like a kid to even know what they are. So like for example, like one of them straight up has Art the Clown just voted on. Bro, you're telling me that there could be a kid playing this that's like nine years old and then they see Art the Clown? Dog, I know adults that shouldn't be seeing Art the Clown. Regardless if there's blood in them or not, like like people should like be a lot more careful about what's going on here. And my problem is that this really could have been a cool idea too this all really could have been really like great um if you look throughout the rest of the map there's a lot of portraits and pictures of again people that are a part of this event and instead of what usually again like all throughout the mansion could have been here's my avatar here's joe schmo here's sally sue um it's it's just find us at freddy's another screenshot another screenshot I mean, at least we had, like, Gru or the Norian Orange. That was kind of dope. But, like, other than that, like... Like, I don't know, man. It, it definitely put a bad taste in my mouth. And I know it did for the rest of the community. Um, what had to be done here was it had to have a lot more safeguards and moderation in a way that would be done by, uh, obviously, like, AI more to make sure that this didn't happen. But um, it was kind of just all thrown together. Um, there was supposed to be a uh, final boss that happens. I didn't check that out yet. Um, if you guys would like to see that, let me know. I would, I'm probably going to do it later, uh, on my stream, which you should go check out. Check out my stream, the blue digit, blue digit. But, um, does this mean that this is completely terrible? No. I do think the best rating really was 70%. Because people are dogging on this, mainly for the fact that, oh my gosh, well, it's, it's all ruined now. And I don't really think so. First off, you all, you do get free items. And regardless, like, people kind of forget how just nice that is. Like, you could get nothing. This could be the most greedy corporation ever, which, doing wrong, I do think Roblox is kind of greedy. However, um, the fact that you do get free items, that's nice. And I think people should be should be happy about that. 
However, there's also a few other things that I thought were worth mentioning, and um, oh yeah, I'll just get into that. So the next thing is, okay, so the next thing is obviously based off all this, um, is the event still worth it? Yeah, I think it's still cute. I still think it, it does try to bring people together for the Halloween season. And there's a few things within the game itself that kind of promote this. And um, the main thing is obviously the hype for trying to find all these different pieces so that when you do start the, the Halloween boss fight, which I haven't gotten to yet, right? Um, it's it's going to be kind of heat. Um, what you'll find is that there's at least when I record this four different events, it's going to be five. I haven't done the fifth one yet, uh, which it is out as the time of this recording. Um, there's going to be a part where you smash pumpkins. That's the first one I actually found. And it was cute. It was really simple, very cute. Um, and it's really easy to recognize what these are too because uh, you look around the map and you'll usually find items that are interactable um, or they will have uh, something that's kind of leading you towards an end objective. So it's pretty simple, right? It's not like the, it's going to be take forever to find them. Um, and as you do these objectives, you'll get like these little like end prizes. Um, but things that will just kind of more or less help you uh, just chill out in the game so like for example you get like this little like pumpkin chariot thing or you'll get like a, a, a light or a key that'll teleport you all the other places or um let's say something that makes you go invisible like they're, they're all really cute and there's gonna be again there's gonna be a fifth one that comes out soon um i should be out actually as of the uh, moment this video is out um however one of the nicest things at the very end which i appreciated was and they did this with the hunt as well but essentially they made it so that the and i don't know what they did but it was probably just again collaborations right they reached out to all these roblox games to do collaborations uh for the halloween event and again it was pretty awesome it was great um you know you look at all these games and i'm actually probably going to be uh, recording some tonight um usually again check out the twitch check out the twitch but um they're they're fun they're great and that's what it should be for roblox right you go into this little main area you check out all these other games and it's supposed to be a more or less a, a, a connected community that you just try out all these different experiences, meet new friends. That makes me happy. And I feel people aren't really talking about that enough. Um, I think this did an okay job. It really tried, and I think that's the biggest thing. Like, these people need to realize that this game is for such a large market of people when it comes to um, kids, and now adults. Like, there's a lot of older people playing this game. If you look at TikTok, not all of it's going to be kids stuff. Like, you're, you're seeing people probably throwing around some um some cuss words but regardless this is very interesting to have and i think that we want more of these and just because that roblox missed the bar here that doesn't mean that okay well this is terrible okay well boohoo right like i think we should call it out for what it is which it, it wasn't handled well right it was kind of the the ball was dropped but now we gotta tell roblox okay fix your fix it up let's try again next time and that's how it should be for everything. I mean, this is regardless if it's a big corporation or not. The reason that for a bigger corporation you can be, be meaner is because obviously it's not like a small studio. This is something that has millions upon millions of dollars that it's earned. So um, obviously you're not going to be as um, cordial. But um, I do want to obviously make it very well known that uh, this is not terrible to me. Uh, it's it's a joke in how they kind of dropped the ball. And I do think, again, Rob, is, it, it's kind of greedy. I mean, like, for example, I love seeing the Headless Horseman, but you know for a fact he put that in the middle so the people would buy Headless. And I did. Again, there'll be a video coming out soon soon with that. But um, it it still tried its best. For example, let's say, oh, you're going to see the Headless Horseman's um, house or mansion, my bad. And uh, you're going to see all these uh, people that are kind of working there. And you get to learn more about the lore. And it's like, I like that. It's cute, you know. Um, it kind of expands upon Roblox lore or whatever, you know. And... Um, not that I really give too much of a shit, but when it comes to, again, uniting such a large scale community in the way that it, this is done, I think it's worth a shot. And they definitely, you know, they lined up their sights and tried. So, um, that's my opinion on it. Uh, y'all might not agree, but I'm just glad that we at least even got something for Halloween. Um, because I mean, a while back, we didn't even get Roblox events for a good bit. And the fact that these are starting to come back, that's a big deal, especially with free items um so i would suggest everyone watching this just try to see the good in it um if i don't hear more from you happy halloween guys uh this is being uploaded on the 31st and um as always guys um if you haven't already please subscribe i need it dude if you don't hear orphans tell me down in the comments below what you think obviously because i know a lot of you will and uh, like so that we can um uh, you know do better in the algorithm but um as always guys love you remember smile keep right up and let's fight for a future so bright you so much for your eyes
My name is Blue Digit out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Subscribe yes. to Blue Digit. What? Do it now. Hello. You are a cow. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Blue Digit uh -huh. or else.